Hey Scott here. Today I want to share a video of how I adjusted the valves on a Briggs & Stratton 550EX engine that's mounted on Husqvarna walk behind lawnmower. And I put the specs uh, for the engine in the description below this video. So, enjoy. So I picked up this uh, free Husqvarna lawnmower. It's got the Briggs & Stratton 550EX engine that happens to have valves, overhead valves. So the thing is that I'm just going to clean this up, get it running, and then we're going to just probably sell it. But in the meantime, I'm going to talk about how we're going to adjust the valves. I don't know that the valves actually need to be adjusted. Usually if the valves down here need to be adjusted, uh, if they're really out of whack, uh, it's going to be really hard to pull. This thing isn't particularly hard to pull, but it does run a little bit rough, and I'm thinking that if we adjust the valves where they need to be adjusted, then um, maybe it'll run a little bit easier and start a little bit easier. So let's tear into it and show you what I'm doing. All right, now you don't have to do this step, but it does make it a little bit easier for me to, uh, to get to everything that's going on around here. Um, in this particular engine, to get this recoil off, there's a plastic cover right here that I find if you pry it up with a screwdriver, it isn't plastic tabs. Try not to break these. There we go. All right. In the middle there's a place where it connects as well with plastic tabs. Oh, there we go. And then in the front Oh my, come on, so close. There it is. So these little plastic bits here just hook up underneath. So, and this is what, these are the plastic tabs that are locking in here. So with this out of the way, now we're gonna go after this. We got three screws that are 5 sixteenths. And they're the special shoulder bolts. And this whole thing lifts right off and then you push it out of your way. And what we want to do is we want to squeeze the bale here and lock that in place. That releases the engine brake. And for ease of access, I have the lawnmower propped up. Of course you don't have to do this but I basically just took a cinder block there that's holding my tarp down here and I used it to hold the lawnmower upright just so that, like I said I can get easier access so now we're gonna pull the spark plug out and this skinny little spark plug uses a 5 8 inch spark plug socket Well, and it was pretty loose. I've had it out before and didn't tighten it. I knew I was going to be doing this. All right. And this may or may not be the factory plug. We've got a Champion RC12YC. All right, so now we're going to uh, actually open up the valve cover here. Go back to 5 sixteenths. So it's going to need a little coaxing to get it off. Hopefully we don't ruin the gasket or something. Oh, maybe. All right. Well, I'm going to have to get in there with a little screwdriver and kind of work it. Looks like i got to get inside here with a small screwdriver. Nice and easy. And the gasket is intact. 
All right. Okay, so with a nice close-up view, what I want to show you is right here we've got a, a T10 Torx head. And on the outside, we've got a 5 16 nut. And so what we have to do is to loosen the inside like this and then we turn this to adjust the valve in or out accordingly. And let's show you how that's done. All right, now the engine specs for this thing uh, say between four and eight thousandths. So I have a feeler gauge here and I'm gonna shoot for five thousandths. So let's start off with the top one. We wanna make sure that, we're gonna turn the engine here and we're gonna make sure that this is fully open, which means depressed all the way in. And that's come out. And all the way in. Right there, okay, so now let's focus on this one. First thing we're gonna do then is to loosen the inner There we go. Again, this is a T10 Torx. So now we're gonna get in here with our feeler gauge. It's pretty loose. Probably a good thing I'm doing this. And I wanna turn this clockwise to tighten it up. And we're gonna do a little at a time until this feels it's not snugging up at all. So let's loosen this some more. Back this off a little bit. There we go. It's got to go in good ways. Oh, here we are. We're finally getting it get snugged up a little bit. You want to feel a slight drag, and I think I'm going to back it off just a smidge. No, well, maybe not. Well, I think I have to loosen that center thing even more. This thing was really out of whack. Okay, now that's too tight. Alright, I think we're going to hold it right there. It's got some good drag on it. Hold that right there while we tighten the center. Check it again. Good drag. And now what I like to do is I like to turn it all the way over a couple of times. And check it again. Okay, that's good. We still got good drag there. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing now for the other valve. But this time we're going to have this one to be closed all the way. 
There we go. This one's actually tight, so we're going to loosen it. All right, this one didn't need much. Back it off just a little bit. We'll hold it right there. Tighten this up. Check it one more time. Spin it around a couple times. And we're the same. All right, very good. So now we'll just put the valve cover back on. First, I'm going to go clean this up a little bit, and then I'll put the valve cover back on. Careful not to get any schmucks inside there. put it all back together. <laughs> oh, my spark plug wire in the way. Tabs once again. <laughs> Hook up underneath. There we go. We'll put the spark plug back in. And go give it a pull, see if it is a, if it'll start. cup or two but now it seems to be running good so I'm going to mow my grass with it and make certain that everything is running good with it before I sell it but there it is how to adjust the valves on a Briggs & Stratton 550 EX engine
This happens to be, by the way, Husqvarna 5521P. And I'll show you the model number here. And the model number of this particular lawnmower is right there. Alright, thanks for watching.